has been diffused. Counter terrorists win. Hey guys, Mazzo here. Taking a look at Phelps for the third time. So this will wrap up his three demo review. And I picked a demo from Northern Arena for him. And the reason I did that is because uh, Northern Arena was pretty known to have very relaxed security measures. Um, the players were left alone on their PCs. They could have plugged anything in. There was very, very little admin presence. So I figured, you know what? I did the first uh, two demos from him in, uh, well, one of them was for the qualifier for sure. And I can't remember the other one, but I mean, uh, why not throw in a demo where the security measures are, are very relaxed and kind of see what his demo looks like in that case. So that's what I did. So I grabbed the first map from the finals. It's a best of three against Cloud9 and Immortals do go on to win it. And I grabbed this map just because Phelps had a good map and they end up winning the first map. So I didn't want to get the second map uh, because you know, he'd be less encouraged to cheat if they already won the first map. So that's why I got the first one. And the third map, he didn't play that great in. So uh, I haven't watched the whole demo yet. I've I've only kind of watched uh, the first little bit. So I don't know how the whole demo looks from him yet. But I know from the past demos, he definitely had a habit of uh, really good crosshair placement and very few aim lock looking moments. Um, he just looked like a pretty solid player, I thought. Uh, that's really the the big reason why I wanted something from Northern Arena. I guess I could have got some some online game, but the land games are definitely better. Um, this was a fifty thousand dollars first prize, so that's a big deal. There is one spot I wanted to look at on Pistol Round right here when he goes down towards uh, the guy that's already kind of made it onto the site, and uh, he just definitely fucking getting near there. And it is a weird spot to have his crosshair. But Zeus has already been flashed out, so he's already definitely got a very good idea they're on site. And if he was using an aim key, like he's looking up to drop, you'd think it would go to the guy much closer to him and much closer to his crosshair. So I don't think that's necessarily an aim key. Um, I'll keep my eye on it, so, you know, see how many times this kind of crops up. But I don't think that's enough to get too, too excited about. Alright, here's an early gun round. And Phelps is doing a retake on A. So I got most of it in there. You can see he does see the guy run onto site. So you're going to see him line him, up, line him up pretty good here through the wall. But, I mean, he knows the fucking guy's there already. So it's kind of hard to draw too many conclusions. And then after all, he, uh, he ends up fucking going to the wrong side of the wall when the guy does peek. So... But I put the whole thing in here. If you guys see anything, you can let me know. Uh, there's a few things I wanted to replay here. Just when he jumps through the smoke, you can see this is all good looking, no funny business here. Like he doesn't come out lined up with Stewie as he comes out of the smoke. He just kind of shakes his mouse around to get it uh, set right for the aim. And he sees automatic run onto the site. But it did kind of bug me how much he was doing this, you know? That kind of bugs me. It always, it always bugs me a little bit when they don't have their crosshair lined up well. And I could see the reasoning to look into the middle of the box. You know, if you just kind of play it 50-50, look at the middle, and then if the guy pops out one way or the other, you can kind of just adjust to him. But he's not doing that. Like, he's just swiping back and forth in the middle. That that bugs me a bit. But he saw the guy run onto site, so that's, that's obviously a big reason why he wouldn't want to aim key. Like, he knows the guy's behind the fucking block already, right? So... Um, this clip does kind of look bad, but uh, I think when you look at the whole round, it definitely explains what's going on a little bit. And if there is something going on here, um, it's hidden really well because it's a situation where, um, you know, he could disprove it very easily just by saying he knew the guy was on site, right? This is a pretty cool spot by Phelps. He could use the little post on the stairs to block pop flashes. That's one of the reasons why he's sitting there, and also it's just an annoying angle to defend against. And you're going to see the pop flash actually come in from Shroud, and he uses the post to crouch and duck, and he dodges the pop flash perfectly and doesn't have to turn away. So, just good positioning. I thought I'd include it. Always nice to see this stuff. We got an eco round here for Phelps, and some pretty fancy movement going on here. <laughs> 
I'm sure you saw that. I never hate to see someone's crosshair kind of move into the wall for no reason. Usually the main reason they do this is because they're dodging a flash. So I thought maybe he somehow saw that flash coming in, but I don't think that's the case. I mean, if he is trying to dodge a flash, he's moving his crosshair the wrong way. He would probably spin the other way or spin all the way around. Um, so yeah, this looks pretty bad. I think, especially the the first flick onto it, like it's so quick and it stops, you know, right around it. It looks like he let go just before I locked onto the dude. He is on an eco round, and that's probably his best defense to this. May maybe not being anything, but um, this really does stand out, especially compared to the last two demos that I looked at him. I didn't see anything like this, so this is this is definitely a standout round, and uh, I don't know. It's not good. Not good to see for sure. Alright, Phelps holding off an A take here. And it is 4 4, still early. And they're still kind of fighting for the economy. So these are pretty important rounds. Um, at the beginning there, you probably saw him do a fast 180. It's just a flash turn, and he uh, does end up lining up with some guys. But you can see the flash is going out, and it looks fine. He does get a pretty interesting kill here on the guy. Uh, on the other side of the arch here, spams, then throws the molly, and then spams after the molly, which makes a lot of sense, obviously. He gets the kill for it. So I, I got that slowed down at the end. I, I wanted to take another look to see. But uh, he goes for a peek here, and Skadoodle takes him out. Okay, here's the flash turn. And you can see uh, the flash coming in. So he's just turning, and that's why he ends up lining up with those guys. So all good there, and here's the molly kill. I wanted to see, like, he did kind of seem like he may have known someone was there. When he routed the corner, it looked like his crosshair kind of had a little hitch in it. But it's really hard to tell on the uh, GoTV demos, just because everything gets smoothed out so much. If this was a 128 tick demo, maybe I'd be able to tell a bit better, but he spams a bit, and then throws the molly, and then after the molly's done, you might as well spam away anyways, so... The, the kill doesn't bug me too much. I'm just trying to figure out if maybe he knew the guy was there. And I don't I don't think there's enough in, in the demo for me to to really make that strong of an argument um, for him to, to, you know, say, okay, he aim locked and that's how he knew he was there. I don't think it's quite that black and white. Uh, there's still quite a bit of doubt in that clip. All right, we got a clutch, a 3v2 for Phelps. One of the few... Uh, kind of clutch scenarios that he's been in and that little crosshair shake right at the beginning the fucking shit really bugs me I really dislike seeing that stuff uh, I'll slow down later and show you again but it's just weird like it doesn't head towards someone which leads me to believe it's probably nothing but um, it, just, it just doesn't make sense like why is he moving his crosshair like that like most people just keep their crosshair on the edge of the wall and shit you know the rest of the round doesn't really look like much, but I'll, uh, let me replay that fucking, that little crosshair flippy there. Okay, this really bugs me. It's not heading towards anyone, but what is it doing? Why does he move over? Like, what, what is he doing there? Is he pretending to check to the right side or something? Like, I have no idea. I thought maybe he tapped an aim key, but... It's not obvious enough to say that, I don't think. Like, maybe that's what's going on, but maybe he just wanted to wiggle his mouse. Anyways, I also have let the end part of the round slowed down. I don't think anything's going on here. Looks fine. Um, it's a fairly comfortable retake for them, really. Skadoodle with his P250 out here instead of the op, which is kind of weird, but uh, I think he got a call from Automatic saying that he dinked Phelps, so makes a little more sense. But yeah, just that crosshair movement at the start kind of bugged me. And like I said, this is kind of like this is my third demo that I d have done of Phelps. And uh, I don't remember seeing anything like that before. I don't know. You guys can, can correct me if I'm wrong, but he had really good crosshair placement with the other two demos. All right, I got a bit of a longer round here. He starts off with a really cool one way smoke that you don't see too often, but it is pretty nice. Like, it's not amazingly effective. You can only see their feet a little bit if they walk into the cubby, but that's still pretty good. Like, I like that one-way smoke. I love seeing one-way smokes. 
You're going to get to see, uh, like, if you watch the T's throw their nades coming up here, after this molly, Stewie throws a flash, and it pounces inside, just totally whiffs on it, blinds um, his own team a little bit. Which I thought was funny, but I wanted to include this whole round just because it is, uh, it's 5-9 for Cloud9, and it's an important gun round, well, it's, I mean, it's the last round of the half, so it's not amazing, but you get to see him do some spam work, and hit a little bit of his spam onto automatic there, but automatic was standing right in the opening, so, nothing too much to say about that, just a good round from Phelps. Okay, piss around. And the first half wasn't too bad from Phelps. Uh, there were a few things that really bugged me. Um, but they came on eco rounds, which is not the greatest proof. You know, normally you want to see, like, if you're looking for aim locks and stuff, you'd prefer it to happen on important rounds. That would, would make your case for arguing it much better, you know, if it does happen in a 1v1 in a crucial gun round and stuff like that. But... That wasn't the case with Phelps in the first half, so we're getting into the second half here. There's a few spots I want to slow down on this pistol round. I don't think any of them are too crazy. But we'll take a look when he comes out and looks to Chicken Coop. He doesn't really line him up here. I don't I don't think there's necessarily anything here. Like I think he's just flying out and coming to look uh you know Chicken Coop and Statue really quickly. When he swings to the right there, he lines someone up as well. But you could definitely make the argument he's just checking sidewalk, you know, like, um, I don't think that's too much. There is one spot I wanted to look at right here where he kind of wiggles to the left. I always hate seeing stuff like that. Like the little wiggle, I don't know what to make of it. It really doesn't look like anything, but it just bugs me that his crosshair does that. <laughs> like when I'm playing, I usually keep my crosshair on the angle that they're going to peek out of, right? I don't wiggle it into the wall for no reason so yeah there were a few things uh, that I just didn't like looking at here but nothing too bad like I said that look that he does towards sidewalk is probably nothing as well but uh, yeah I figured I'd put it in there just in case someone sees it in the comments and they wanted me to talk about it but I think it's uh, plenty plausible that you know when he comes off of broken wall he just wants to look to the right to clear it and he lines up with someone's feet. As much as I'm buying into this whole, like, uh, you know, 2016 is the new uh, feet kind of aim lock year. You know, 2014 was like aim locking right onto the heads. And now it seems like a lot of pros have just switched going to the feet. As much as I buy into that, I don't think that uh, that lock when he looks to the right is anything too much of note. All right, first gun round of the second half. And Phelps has a really good round. So I got the meat of it in there you know the action part of it anyways and he comes out drop here and he's like cloud nine's fucking worst nightmare man as soon as they turn their back he fucking plows out and kills too i want to slow this down after he kills this guy just because he flicks to the right really quick um after he kills skadoodle so i'm kind of always keeping my eye on stuff like that but i think uh, he's pretty fucking far off so you'd have to buy in that he's got a really big offset but uh kind of looked like it followed him a bit maybe I mean the guy is making a fuckload of noise like nothing's running in there and obviously it's the most obvious place of rotation right um, so there's a lot to you know you could definitely make the case for Phelps that he should have pretty good knowledge that nothing was there but I just thought I'd put it in there and uh, let you guys chat about it let me know what you think all right, check out this nade by Shroud. This is like 50 damage to both players. Pretty good stuff. Okay, here's a late gun round. I always put these in um, just to kind of show, like Phelps just gets wrecked in this round and has, like he doesn't know what, what the fuck happened to him here. So I always throw these in, kind of tell you, you know, to show that he's definitely not fucking cheating here anyways. So, and it's a really important round, and it would make sense to cheat, right? Okay, this is the next gun round, and Phelps ends up in a 1v1 in this round, so I got the vast majority of this round in. He has a good round, and there's a couple of things I want to show in it. Nothing amazing or conclusive. The first thing was this fucking, I don't know if he thinks he's dodging a flash. Like, you can see that flash fly in, but he moves quite a bit after it. 
And I got it slowed down, but... Like, he would know a fucking guy is there, you know? Like, they, they have a pretty good idea of where people are in the site. So I'm thinking, is he trying to get... I don't know. I, I think it's really hard to make an argument that he's making a play to get information. It's just one of those really annoying parts or annoying crosshair movement that kind of triggers me a little bit. So I always slow those down and, and kind of try and dissect them. And if I was cheating, I, I don't know what information I'd be trying to draw from an aim lock there because... You know, I can. I don't cheat, and I would know there's fucking people there. So, anyways, he gets a couple nice kills here. I don't think there's anything too strange about them. He had really good timing on Shroud, but I don't think he can fucking crucify him too bad for that. And he ends up in a 1v1 versus automatic. This whole 1v1 looked really, really legit. I didn't see anything in it at all. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's This is definitely the highest leverage round that he's been in. Or, this is the highest leverage clutch uh, round that he's been in all game. You know, the score's super tight. It's a gun round. And neither of them have a ton of money. They've been kind of trading blows with the rounds a bit. So, Automatic almost makes a good play there. He just overthrows the molly a little bit. And Phelps is able to get the bomb, but... Yeah, this whole this whole one v one, I didn't see too much going on. Yeah, that looked good. This is a couple rounds later, and it's thirteen eleven immortals. You can see Cloud 9's money is fucking dog shit here. They they're forced into a dirty force buy, and they do this molly to the cubby to force out nothing. And and this is the first time I've seen the molly it, but Phelps has been going drop pretty much the whole T side, so I really haven't seen how they take plot very much uh, and Phelps does molly him out of there and you can see they're pretty diligent with it so I'd like to be able to make it comparable you know see how many times they actually do molly that when the arches are smoked but uh, Phelps just didn't go plot very often so I wasn't going to look through every player's fucking point of view you know for the whole game but I did have this you know he does a 180 seemingly for no reason anyways there's no flash or not much going out and he kind of lands yeah I don't I don't think that's anything I was just thinking okay well maybe he aim locked and knew nothing was on plot but I think that argument's a bit of a stretch <laughs> I don't I don't think uh, that's a very strong argument here I'll show it again just to show you this is where I was thinking okay well maybe he aim locked onto him and knew that he was cubby um, I think it's far more likely that immortals uh, just have a really good economy you know they got five mollies why not fucking use a molly for it right so yeah, they molly out nothing and it works in their favor. Okay, very next round and Skadoodle has no fucking clue where he is. Running with his knife out when they have zero drop control. And I didn't see too much in this round. There's a lot of quick crosshair movement. Maybe I'll slow that down just to take a better look. But Phelps has a good round. Jesus, Shroud. Good spam. But yeah, I gotta slow down that quick crosshair movement when he was uh, kind of looking uh, into the window there and see if anything was going on. I don't think there was, though. Okay, so I got it slowed down. And you can see when he turns to the right here, kind of goes towards his feet. But yeah, I don't, I don't think that's anything. He's just looking at the door, right? Like, he lines up the door angle really well. And it just so happens that Shroud's feet are, feet are there. So I don't think that's anything to worry about. But yeah, I just I just wanted to slow it down to get a better look. Last round, and this would be the third demo reviewed from Phelps. Uh, his second half really did clean up compared to the first. There were a few scenes in the first half that really bugged me, and I thought I was going to be in for a fucking sweetie of a demo here, but the second half cleaned up quite a bit. Um, saw a little smoke spam there, but I don't think that's anything to worry about as usual. I'm pretty lenient with smoke spams, I find. Just because it's so hard to tell if there's anything fucking going on. But yeah, this, uh... This demo from Phelps had some spots that kind of made me worried. And I didn't like looking at them. Like that eco round on CT side where he does that most flick into a fucking wall kind of thing. Like, that shit really bugs me. And I do not like seeing it. <laughs> 
of course, the best counter argument against that, you know, why would he aim lock there is because they were saving, which is pretty good. You know, if I was cheating, I don't think it would make much sense to use my aim key very often when I'm saving, but you never know. Like, I don't know the personality of Phelps. Maybe he is somebody that would do that. Um, not to mention, like, a lot of these guys are young and just want to win. Like, this this tournament that they're, that they're playing at in this game was uh, probably the first big tournament that they made it to the finals in, at least so that I can remember. And it was 50 grand for the first prize. So, I mean, maybe he's going to touch it a little bit more if, if that's the case. But then there were other high leverage rounds that came up and went by and I didn't see anything like there were a lot of really high leverage rounds where I didn't see anything even remotely suspicious like even if uh, he just tapped an aim key and his crosshair kind of moved a little bit like I didn't see anything that would uh, have me too worried maybe you guys saw a little bit more but uh, I would still say this demo was probably a little bit more sketchy than the other two that I've done of Phelps uh, the one on cash was super clean, probably one of the cleanest I've ever done. And his other cobble demo was mm, pretty clean as well, had one weird spot. But um, I'll do a full recap and kind of collect a few of the clips and stuff like that and put them into a video and, and make the uh, the normal recap videos like I do. And you can look for that probably in the next few days. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.